Well done! This is what we can say for the recently finished Season 1 of the American TV series Billy the Kid. The epic's western drama, which was filled with romance and adventure elements, is a real hit right now. And after eight episodes in Season 1, fans are impatient to hear if there will be Season 2. And here's what we know about it. But first, let's start with a quick recap of what this TV series is about. Billy the Kid is an epic romantic adventure series in production by the American cable and satellite television network Epix Entertainment. Not many knew about the life of the outlaw and gunfighter of the American Old West named Henry McCarty, aka Billy the Kid. The first season, which follows the life of the young Irish lad who grew up to be a cowboy and gunslinger, premiered on April 24th. This series is a modern origin story of the 19th century bushranger. Michael Hurst, who was the creator of this series, managed to paint a more truthful and detailed portrait of the legendary felon's history. But who is Henry McCarty? It is one of the most notorious figures from the era, and a guy whose life and likeness have been frequently dramatized in Western pop culture. He has been a feature in more than 50 movies and several television series. He's mostly known for killing eight men before he was shot and killed at the age of 21. Henry was born in 1859 and lived until 1881. He became orphaned at just 15 years old, and his first arrest was for stealing food at the age of 16. Just after this, he robbed a Chinese laundry and was arrested again, but managed to escape shortly afterward. He also fought in New Mexico's Lincoln County War, during which he allegedly committed three murders. But why did this character become so famous? Well, during the decades following his death, legends grew that McCarty had survived, and several people claimed to be him. Of course, this was more than enough for Michael Hurst to revive another great story. Hurst previously managed to bring some rather dramatic periods to life in Vikings and the Tudors. The show starts by telling Billy's traumatic backstory. We've watched how tough it was for an Irishman to replant in America. A poor New York immigrant family moves west and loses everything in a swollen river. His dad will fall into a depressive funk and will commit suicide. Struggling, Billy then takes for New Mexico, where he will fall in love with the outlaw Jesse Evans and his gang. Here, the young boy will step on the road he cannot return. The first season was packed with all kinds of excitement, including romance. In addition to that, it was jam-packed with intriguing events. Over the years, Billy the Kid was portrayed by many actors, and you should hit that like button below the video right now! <laughs> uh, no, Billy's character was present in many movie projects. For example, in The Left-Handed Gun, Billy was played by Paul Newman. Then, in the NBC series The Tall Man, 1960-1962, Clue Gilliger played the young gunslinger. The legendary character then showed up in 1970's Chisholm, where he was portrayed by Jeffrey Duell, and in 1973's Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, where Chris Christopherson took the role of his character. But this latest Billy was something special. Now that's not me saying that, that's what the fans and the film critics are saying. If you take a look at the ratings, you will see that the series managed to achieve a 7.2 rating on IMDb and a great 82% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's more than enough for this series to continue with another season. Let's see if there's any potential release date for Billy the Kid Season 2. The producers of Billy the Kid have not disclosed whether or not they intend to produce a second season of the show, but the fact that the eight episodes was marked as a season finale, but wasn't a conclusion, gave the fans a reason to believe that the show would continue for at least one more season. The official status as of October says that Billy the Kid has not been cancelled or renewed for a second season. The filming of the first season took place in Calgary, Alberta from the 5th of July 2021 to the 6th of October. Billy the Kid Season 1 premiered on April 24, 2022, and the last eight episode was shown for the first time on June 5th. As there is no information on the release date or time for the second season, we can presume that the series producers are still collecting the audience's impressions of the first season. It's maybe too soon to come up with an official announcement. 
maybe we will have that kind of information in a couple of months from now. And what about the cast and crew for the potential season two? The young English actor Tom Blythe portrayed the outlaw as an adult, while Jonah Collier played the young Billy. Some other notable names in the series were Daniel Weber, Eileen O'Higgins, Dakota Dalby. Tom Blythe was the only actor who showed up in every episode. At this point, it's difficult to say who's coming back and who doesn't. I don't want to spoil anything for those of you who haven't seen the show, and I'm not going to tell you who was killed and who won't return for sure. The show made an excellent job of depicting the events during the time around the Lincoln County War. A large part of the show's appeal comes from the stunning backdrops that showcase the wild and vast beauty of the American West. What can we expect from the story in the potential season two is for you to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell below the video. <laughs> uh, no, really. As with all other things at this point, it's very difficult to say, and the short answer to this will be nobody knows. But as I said before, many legends were created over the years that Billy wasn't killed at the age of 21. According to official historic data, the 21 years old but already a murdered who had escaped from jail and killed two guards in the process made the mistake of walking in a darkened bedroom where Lincoln County Sheriff Pat Garrett was questioning another outlaw. Both Garrett and Billy were armed, but Garrett shot first and killed Billy. But some claimed that Garrett shot the wrong man and Billy escaped. To complicate matters further, at least two men declared themselves as Billy. Who said that history can't be interesting? So we can presume that the series will continue on this road. First, it will begin from where the first season ended. The Lincoln County War is still on, and it's only a matter of time before Murphy launches an assault on Tunstall and his men. Even with Billy now on his side, Tunstall will need more guns by his side. The season could also explore the relationship between Billy and Senorita Del Tobosco, but this is just an assumption. At the end of season one, we saw Billy arriving at the Seven Rivers Gang and telling them that he is quitting Murphy's payroll and joining Tunstall's business. The gang members were angry about Billy's decision and pointed their guns at him. But then Jesse told them to lower the guns and try to respect his decision. For Jesse, it was brave that Billy decided to not sneak out. And instead of that, he told them face to face. So they will let him go on his way by saying that, quote, our time will come. We can expect that the story will continue, as in the historical events, with Billy facing being killed at some point. Maybe if the show continues to be successful, Billy will survive, and the story will continue just like in the legends, with him living like someone else and still riding in the West. Well, this is just a presumption, and we will still need an official announcement and official synopsis. You really think we're just gonna let you leave? After what you just boys, done? Boys, boys. One thing is sure, there are a lot of stories to be told about this character, and fans are getting impatient. Of course, when any new details are revealed, there will be another video. Until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.